Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. You've probably noticed by now that the SEC regularly seeks to redact crucial and judicially important parts of documents in their lawsuit against Ripple. Now, frequently, they even request documents be sealed for no obvious reason other than the contents of such documents make them look bad. That's why today's legal filing by the SEC to Judge Torres is comical in nature. You know, Ripple wants to seek a document that they say includes private and confidential business information, and the SEC insists that it would not be appropriate to seal this document. Uh, now, now, consider this, too. R Ripple does not regularly request uh, redactions or sealing of documents. So the fact that they're doing so now tells me they're likely to be acting in good faith. You know, just look at their track record. Uh, and, and also, um, there's a, <laughs> the SEC has submitted to, uh, to Judge Nepern documents pertaining to the SEC's assertion of Hinman's attorney-client privilege, uh, so we'll cover that as well. And I, I, I do have a concern about that specifically, um, I'll share with you. But um, look, before going any further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Uh, real quick, want to give a shout out and credit to uh, John Deaton's crypto law organization for sharing these documents, as well as uh, XRP community member and attorney James K. Filan. Much appreciated, my friends. Uh, and so I printed this thing up. It's pretty short here, but I highlighted a couple of the parts that I found to be most pertinent. I want to share with you some thoughts as we go through this. So uh, this is from, from today, just this afternoon. Um, so this is from the SEC to Judge Torres. Dear Judge Torres, the SEC respectfully opposes defendants' June 15th, 2022 application to seal Exhibit O to the SEC's June 7th, 2022 brief opposing the motion by six XRP investors to, to file a brief regarding the opinions of one of the SEC's experts. And so it's possible to note the, the expert in question there, of course, is Patrick Duty, who has put together some sort of report that we've not yet seen. It's not public. And uh, presumably the, the types of claims, well, actually we know that, know that this claim is made. He, he claims to be able to explain the motive for people having purchased XRP. So he knows why I bought it, he knows why you bought it, he knows the reasons, and he's probably gonna make the same type of BS arguments that he made in the Telegram case, presumably. And uh, he's gonna say it's purely for, for speculation, because if that's all it is, that strengthens, strengthens uh, the SEC's argument regarding one of the four prongs of the Howey test. So uh, presumably, that, that's what that is. And re regarding the filing that was mentioned in that sentence that I just read, of course, um, you know, attorney John Deaton is seeking permission to file a response to that report. The, the SEC, of course, doesn't want them to. And regarding Exhibit O specifically, which is what uh, Ripple wants to have sealed, we, that's not public. We don't know specifically what, what's in that. Uh, anyway, the SEC continues. The SEC opposes defendants' request to seal Exhibit O and the reference to that document in the amicus opposition brief because defendants' conclusory assertion that Exhibit O contains, quote, sensitive and confidential business information, end quote, is not sufficient to warrant sealing. So let's pause. What they're saying right there is that's Ripple's claim, is that there's sensitive and confidential business information, and, and the SEC is saying, no, it is not. Now, who do you trust? Do you trust Ripple, or do you trust the SEC on this? I'm going to go ahead and bet that anybody listening, if you, if you, ha if you had to pick one of those, uh, you'd probably say that you trust Ripple a bit more than the SEC. Now, again, we don't know what's in Exhibit O, so I can't, I can't and you can't come to you know, con conclusions here. Um, although, if the SEC gets their way and Exhibit O is, it ends up being public, well, yeah, then I'm going to read it and find out if the SEC is making a reasonable claim. Uh, and I doubt that's the case, because, again, I don't see Ripple looking to redact and seal stuff all the time. That's what the SEC does. And it's just so rich to see that now that Ripple wants a document to be sealed... The SEC, since it's not convenient for them, no, 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 no. Now they're changing the no. Just you, you, this is this is too this is too broad. You you can't be sealing this particular document. I'm just like the pot calling the kettle black, man. It's completely ridiculous. Anyway, they continue then. And they say uh, instead, defendants' attempt to seal Exhibit O is an effort to shield from public disclosure a document that calls into question defendants' motives and their position in this litigation. 
The fact that a document makes a party look bad or hurts a party on the, the merits of the case is not a legally valid justification for suing. <laughs> Look, <laughs> let me say this. Like, in terms of public response to this case, it is so lopsided. Almost 0% of the public is on the side of the SEC. It's so lopsided. Ripple, frankly, even if something makes them look bad, they don't need to hide it because we're not going to give a damn. We, like, if you look at the totality of the information, even if there's an outlier instance where, oh, that does look bad for Ripple, it... it who the hell cares? The, the evidence to this point has been completely overwhelming, and, and it's in favor of Ripple. Do you think they re they're really caring one, right now for this one document, whatever the hell's in it? Do you really think? Because I don't. And, and look, I'm, it's fine. It's speculation. But it's based on the SEC being an ass hattery. So I think it's perfectly reasoned to suppose that. And then towards the bottom here, they wrote the following. Uh, defendants argue that Exhibit O contains a non-public, competitively sensitive discussion referred to contemporaneously in the document itself as confidential about <clears throat> Ripple's business, regulatory, and marketing strategy. But a review of Exhibit O makes clear that there is no competitively sensitive information in the document. So there, there you go. They're claiming that uh, there's nothing of the sort in there. There's no, nothing about market strategy. Ripple literally just made it up in his line to the judge even though the judge gets to see this. I, I, it'll be interesting to see how this is ruled. And, and I'll tell you what, if, if this ends up getting sealed, that means that it's that clear to Judge Torres that the SEC is just making crap up again. So we'll find out. We're going we're gonna to hear something back from the judge on this. Now, um, that's not the only legal update. I have a, a short one uh, also, and this is from late yesterday. Um, and, and here, So here you go. Here was, a, I think this is a tweet. Yeah, here we go. This is the one where Attorney Filan is sharing this. And, uh, and he wrote the following. The SEC has submitted to the court for in-camera review three categories of documents related to its... Uh, uh, sorry, I just lost my spot. I, was, I looked down at a document because I, I printed up this one too. Let me just start that part over. The SEC has submitted to the court for in-camera review three ca categories of documents related to its motion, asserting that the attorney-client privilege protects internal documents related to Hedman's speech. And so the, the, the whole attorney-client privilege uh, claim is just bogus. So apparently Hedman... He's, he's a client of his co-workers. Okay, that makes no logical sense whatsoever, but that's the BS claim that they're making here. And so the, the judge said, hey, um, you know, it's a, in support of your argument of attorney-client privilege, you can send in for in-camera camera review, which just means in-person review, um, additional documents. That ten, to, I think initially it was 10 documents or categories or maybe, I think, yeah, I believe it was 10 documents. Anyway. Uh, so he, I'll tell you this before even covering the part that I, there's just one part here that I really highlighted in this thing. Let, let me share with you my concern regarding this. Wrap me off because there are how many, uh, was it like 63 or 68 documents in uh, total? I, mean, I get the number mixed up now between how many emails and how many documents there are, but, um, it's a lot, right? So the SEC, they don't have to send in everything. So if we're right, and because we're presuming the fact that the SEC is <laughs> fighting back so hard to prevent this, we're assuming there's a smoking gun in there. There's something that's going to be exculpatory for, for Ripple. It would just end the SEC case. It's got to be really damning. And so out of all these documents, whatever the number is, and I'm sorry, I just don't recall off the top of my head, whatever it is, it's, it's a lot. The SEC is not going to be sending in everything. So if there's one or more having to do with XRP, do you think that they're going to send that to the judge? And do you think that that would... Because you think it would help their case if, if they sent that to the judge? So, yes, they're sending some stuff in here in a, in a basically a Hail Mary attempt to, 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 to have this attorney-client privilege uh, BS argument um, ruled in, in favor of by, by Judge Netburn. But I, I, they're, they're not going to hand over the smoking guns. <laughs> so that, that's the concern here. Um, even so, uh, regarding the, the nonsense attorney-client privilege claims, I just don't think that Judge Knepper is going to fall for this. And, you know, if you saw my video where I was talking about the, the hearing which occurred recently, um, and as a lot of you listened to it yourselves, you know that did not go well for the SEC. I think it seemed pretty damn clear uh, the direction that the judge was going for on that. But anyway, uh, it reads as follows here. Dear Judge Knepper, Pursuant to the court's order of June 14th, 2022, Plaintiff Securities and Exchange Commission respectfully submits for in-camera review the three categories of documents listed below in connection 
with the SEC's letter motion renewing its assertion that the attorney-client privilege protects internal documents related to a June 14th, 2018 speech delivered by Bill Hemmen. Let's note, of course, that's the Ethereum free pass speech that's referencing. Uh, and then they continue. The then director of the SEC's Division of Corporation Finance. Uh, the documents being submitted for review include 10 exemplar documents. That's it. And they had already submitted some other stuff on um, from, I, I can't remember. It's from the same basic category of, of, of emails and documents. So th there already has been an in-camera review, but this is supplementary because the SEC just doesn't want to drop this damn thing. And that's why we keep saying it. it it has to be supremely damning. So as soon as we have up up updates on this, I'll be happy to share with you um, what the judge has to say. But I think that the attorney-client privilege nonsense, it's going to go down in flames. And um, if I had to guess, I'll, I'll make a little bet here. I mean, maybe it doesn't go in favor of Ripple, but if I had to guess right now, given how terrible the assets at the SEC are, I would bet regarding that first legal topic that I, I started the video with, I'd be willing to bet that Judge rules in favor of Ripple and the documents get, document gets sealed from the public and we never see it, but it's still part of the case. It's just we wouldn't get to see it, but who knows? And the reason I say that really primarily having no idea what's in it is because most pretrial rulings have been in favor of Ripple because the SEC is more than just stretching what would reasonably be considered logical, right? <laughs> Throughout this entire case. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.